What it do, y'all? You already know exactly what time it is. Back here to search some more game on the graph. I'm gonna have to just got the panel ready for the next round, man. With that being said, we are back here again, man. See, they always be thinking they can stop a real G on social media when they speak be speaking about things that the uh, uh, the agencies, the agents don't like. This is what I'm going to do right here. Oh, I can't even do this now. Come on now, bro. See, this is why social media be tripping hard. Hold up. Give me a minute, y'all. My bad. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do to you. You clearly love riding hogs since you like coming up in other men's lives and calling them stuff that don't even pertain to them. It's crazy, man. But at the end of the day, people are always going to let Keisha out one way or another. People are always going to let Keisha out one way or another, and there's nothing that you can do about it. All you can do is just allow them to show their true colors, cut them off, and just keep on going, man. Other than that, just keep doing you. You know, you just keep doing what you're supposed to do, and people are going to hate on you no matter what you do anyways. So what you're supposed to do is take that hate and turn it into energy to a positive uh, uh, source of uh, outlet. Take that negative energy and turn it to a positive outlet for energy. I, I, I promise you, all these, these famous YouTubers, these rappers, these influencers, bands, business owners, whatever the case may be, they did the same thing. They took the hate and energy and they turned it into a positive outlet. They put it into a positive outlet and they transformed it from negative to positive and they kept on pushing. They kept it pushing and that's exactly how they got to where they are right now. They capitalized off of people's negative opinions about them. They used it to their advantage. If you don't be capitalizing off of things, you, people don't understand. You can capitalize off of just about anything nowadays. Anything nowadays. So if you understand that, I don't know. I don't know who. See, look, bro. We got everybody up in here acting a fool now. No. Uh, no. No, 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 no. You got grown men. Grown men, bro. Asking another grown man, can you say my name? Like, no. No. And look, look, bro. Look, look. Look, bro, this don't, you can't make this stuff up, bro. You got dudes asking another dude, can he say your name? You got other dudes telling other grown dudes that you love them. Like, come on, bro. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. These dudes is out here professing their love to other dudes, but can't even ask their own crush out on a date. Imagine that. Imagine. Um. I can't wrap my head around this stuff, bro. But with that being said, this next topic, we're going to be talking about the new generation of men. And it's funny how this stuff happens because it correlates with this topic. So we're just going to add it into there. Uh, you know, I seen a video earlier. Uh, and it was very shameful to watch. As a man, it was very shameful to watch because it was another dude. I ain't even going to call this dude a man. He was a dude. But it was another dude. And the video was called, When Nothing Can Get You Down. And this dude, uh, to, to showcase his happiness, to showcase the fact that he's not letting nothing get to him, this dude, this fully grown dude, was twerking in everything that he was doing. Everything that he was doing, he was twerking. And you can't make this stuff up, bro. You cannot make this stuff up. This new generation of men is just insane to me. Now, a part of this new generation of men, do you know what they decided to do? The, the Navy, like, yes, the actual, like, military branch Navy, what they did was they decided to put uh, an alien transformer and you already know what I mean. Transforming means they went to the other side of biology. Uh, an alien queen as the digital, uh, uh, what was it? The digital ambassador for the Navy recruit. 
for to recruit more uh, uh, soldiers in the Navy, they decided to use somebody, a quote-unquote man, who likes to dress up as a female and dance for other men. They decided to use that as a digital ambassador <clears throat> for something that is meant to be manly, something that is meant to be dangerous, something that is meant to, to require sacrifice. You really think that these type of people have what it takes to serve in the Navy? No, 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 no. That is a that is the biggest spit in the face, slap on the face, uh, and everything else in between to those who served in the Navy, to those who gave up their life in the Navy. Uh, um, That's crazy, bro. But to those who who became disabled by serving in the Navy, it is a spit in the face, a slap in the face, and it's just downright disrespectful to all of those people who who sacrificed things, their lives, maybe that maybe they lost a part of themselves, whatever the case may be. And it, not only that, but it's a spit in the face to every other branch of the military, uh, and to those who served in the military. And now on this on this topic as well, you have dudes who are asking other dudes to say their name, who are uh, asking other dudes, "Do you think I can serve in the Navy?" While they're literally a fan page of another man, you got dudes over here saying, "Say my name, say my name." You got dudes meat riding other dudes, bro, and it don't make sense. And I want to understand why these guys are like this so I can, I don't know, maybe try and help them fix their mindset to be the way they're supposed to be. But at the end of the day, these dudes like being this way. These dudes thoroughly enjoy being feminine. These dudes thoroughly enjoy dressing like females. These dudes thoroughly enjoy uh, uh, shaking their man cave mountains. And you can't make this stuff up. These dudes are literally fans of another grown man asking, Hey, bro, do you think I, could, I have what it takes to serve in the Navy? No, you don't. Based off of your name alone. You don't at all, and then you got your profile picture is a a, a a buff Clifford, a buff Clifford, bro. Come on, and you're asking me these goofy questions, bro. Uh, yeah, David Goggins would not approve at all about the whole Navy thing. Uh, the top G, I already know, would not approve at all from the Navy thing. I ask. Any retired veteran, uh, what they think about that, and they're gonna tell you, absolutely not. I promise you, they're gonna tell you, absolutely not, because it's just it's not it, bro. It's and when you get an army full of, of uh, aliens, when it's time to lay the game down to the other countries, guess what? They gonna throw the they they pew pews up in the weapon. Uh, in the air, they're gonna throw their pew pews up in the air, and they're gonna start screaming like the little grunts from Halo, saying "Run away!" They're gonna start screaming "Run away!" Retreat! Throwing their pew pews in the air, running like the little grunts from Halo. Yes, the ones who sit there and talk trash are also the ones who sit there and run away. Isn't that something? And and that's exactly what's gonna happen. Your first line of defense for a whole nation is gonna be full of wackos and aliens and weirdos and stuff like that I mean you might as well go out to outer space and find the actual covenant from Halo and just recruit them into the Navy if, they, if you want aliens to be in the Navy bro just go recruit the covenant from Halo uh, you can't make this stuff up bro you can't make this stuff up at all it genuinely blows my mind the way that things are going nowadays, the way that things are just going to end up just so destroyed and, and, and torn down and just ran through.
I mean, these dudes are getting married, dude, and they're trying to run through everything else. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. And then you wonder why nobody can, was going to take this country serious. Our line of defense is a bunch of aliens. Our dudes, our quote-unquote men, who are supposed to be willing to stand up if somebody, if a, a, someone else comes and invades us, is out here twerking their man cave mountains in videos, singing sped up uh, chipmunk high pitched love songs to a freaking camera. Like, come on now, bro. This is not it. This is not it. I guarantee you, if somebody came and invented us right now, we would be gone. We would be gone because we don't have enough. Uh, warriors per se to stand up to help fight we don't everybody wants to be a female nowadays females want to be females some females want to be men but females want to be females and dudes want to be females you can't have females and females bro. it don't work that way somebody has to lead somebody has to lead Imagine what JFK would think. I know, bro. He would be ashamed to even... Uh, I think he would be ashamed to even say that he was the president of this country if he were to see what it, still, if, what it looks like now. Uh, crazy. Uh, there was There is this one veteran who... He was doing an interview... And he was asked about what he thinks about this country. And he was just explaining the things that happened to him and his friends. And, and I think what was it, the Vietnam? Was it Vietnam? I think it was Vietnam. It might have been World War One. I. I can't remember. It was one of the two. But he was talking about how his friends didn't sacrifice their lives for this bull crap. They didn't... Uh, they didn't fight all these wars and sacrifice the things they did only for this country to go down to Hades in a handbasket. I mean, this guy was literally tearing up, bro, because you could tell that he would just... His friends lost their lives only for people to come out here and start acting like this. But people want to talk about privilege. Don't, don't even get me started on that, bro. Don't even get me started on that. But yeah, man. Dudes these days... When are y'all going to actually man up, huh? When are your, uh, uh, what's the good word I can use for it? When are your peanuts actually going to drop, huh? I'm going to say peanuts because y'all know how TikTok is. When are y'all peanuts actually going to drop and you going to grow a pair? And you going to do what you're supposed to do? Most of y'all can't even keep y'all girl in check, let alone fight for a country. Most of y'all will turn around and run away when somebody run up on you and your female talking about hand over your money. I seen a video of this dude literally ran away. And then after they left, he came back, he came walking back like nothing happened. Isn't that something? You can't make this stuff up, y'all. So yeah, man, with that being said, make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and your brothers. You know, with that being said, I'll be right back for the last episode of the night.